Longtime Stick Dude fans might know that I used to live in New York, which is where this story takes place. One night, my twin brother and I were sitting in bed, bored. We both slept in the same room when we were little. So we were just doing our usual sit, talk, play with the lamp routine. But we were having trouble sleeping that night. And not just our normal over-energetic kind of trouble, but the kind that we just couldn't get rid of. So our boredom led to my twin saying, hey, let's play tug of war. And being the little Sonics that we were, we just assumed, like any other energetic toddler would, that sports were a great way to lose energy. So I pulled on one side of my blanket and my twin pulled on the other. And you know that tag on every blanket that's just silky smooth and you love feeling it? Well, that was what he was pulling on. My favorite part. And so, rip, down with the blanket. I cried so much that night. My parents asked me if I wanted the tag to get sewed back on, but I thought that it couldn't be fixed. So I made the soon-to-be biggest regret of my life. I threw it out. I got another blanket, but things were never quite the same. That event still haunts me to this day. But here's to hoping that it went to fabric or cotton heaven. I completely forgot what it was made of. I also didn't remember my age, so don't ask. Some of you hearing this might be able to relate to my story. Having something of yours rip, maybe some kind of papers, fabrics, clothes, or something that you love. But all I know is that my blanket now rests in pieces. Two pieces, actually. I know that this story was sad, especially for me, but hey, stop feeling bad for me and be in a good mood, unless you're listening to this in a bad mood. I'm not trying to bring back any bad memories, and if I did, I'm sorry. I know a lot of you might be thinking right now, Matthew, how could you love a baby blanket so much? Well, I'm actually dumbfounded with how much I love that blanket too, but... Like I said earlier, I had a backup blanket ready to go. So from then on, I decided to use that one. I named it Blanky. And while my old blanket had little blue paw prints, this one had colorful cars on it. But not like a Disney characters type of cars. No, 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 no. I just meant cars with different colored wheels, windows, and bodies. It looked like this. See that tag? I know that it looks kind of shredded, plus I'm too lazy to draw all those cars, so I just draw them like this. Exactly.